Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Hall & Oates, Eddie Kendricks, and David Ruffin. Get ready, cause here I come, the medley. Let's see what they have to say. He's got to have the best hair ever. Straight in the past, right through to the future. Used to be one of the lead singers of the Temptations way back in the 60s, Mr. Eddie Kendrick. Eddie's the one with the high voice, right? Okay, um, I've said this before on this channel. I like didn't grow up per se listening to the Temptations, but I did grow up watching the Temptations like biopic movie that played on VH1 every weekend. It's like five hours long. I definitely did grow up watching that. And so for that reason, I know who Eddie Kendricks is and David Ruffin. And I believe Eddie's the one that had the really high voice and David was the diva of the group, right? Um, as soon as I saw this come up, I was like, I, I don't care. I got to watch it. Like, I don't care. And I think I know this song, right? Get ready, cause here I come. This is going to be good. And holy moly, Hall's hair needs to be in the Hall of freaking fame. His hair is unbelievable. <laughs> Ooh. Can't hear him. There he is. They had to turn it up. Okay, I can assume that he's about 50, 60 here because he said this, you know, the song is from the 60s and they weren't like little kids when that song, when, when, when they like were super famous and it's 1985. I say all that to say he looks fantastic. He sound he's like a really s slim frame man, which I, I mean, I don't know how I would have known that because the Eddie, Ru the Eddie Ruffin and the Eddie, uh, sorry, the Eddie Kendricks and the David Ruffin I know are the actors. I think Leon played David Ruffin. I don't know who played Eddie Kendricks, but like when I think of the temptations, I think of the movie characters. So I've never seen him in real life. Very handsome man. Voice still voicing. Like, what do you mean? He's got movement, charisma, charm on stage. Like this is, this is a legend here. Oh, uh. how small his waist is. I love Hall and Oates singing background for them for him. Like, I just think that's so cool, and they sound fantastic. I think there's a certain humbleness that artists have to have to be able to step behind, especially when you're as famous and known and loved, to be able to step behind another artist and let them shine. Like, I think it speaks to maybe their, their real true love of music because, like, this is a moment that you'll never forget. You're singing with two of the Temptations. I can't wait for David to come out. Bring on David, honey. Got nice teeth. Get ready. I 
I was just about to make a comment about Oats. He, the footwork, honey. Oats is moving and grooving over there. Feet just going. The little tiny feet, too. He's so cute. Uh oh, here comes David. Where's David? Oh, they did say it was a medley. What's this one? What's this one? Did you have to be tall and gangly to be a part of this group? He is also slim, trim, and tall. What's going on? The casting in that movie was actually really good now that I come to think of it. Okay, so in the movie, the Temptations broke up and there was like a Temptations 1 and a Temptations 2. Was this still a thing at this time or had they finally come back together? Because I know at the end of the movie, but I also know it's a movie. So like at the end of the movie, they came back and did like a reunion tour with all of the members from group A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, baby. And so I'm just wondering like, is it just Eddie and David because they still were? And I think David left first and then Eddie and uh, what was the one that like was having the issues? Dang it, what was his name? Eddie and him were like thick as these, they left. And so I think they were part of David's temptation. So is that what's going on here? Paul, Paul. Y'all, this is how much I've seen this movie. Like I've seen this movie a million times. Um, is that what's going on here? Is that why it's just the two of them? Let me know. I love this. The feedback. Uh oh, not the feedback. Uh -oh. And the Okay, I lied to y'all. This song. Ain't Too Proud to Beg and Papa Was a Rolling Stone actually know really well. Like, so I did grow up listening to Temptations. I, I take that back. And if they play Papa Was a Rolling Stone, I want y'all to know. Doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. It was the 3rd of September. Like, I want y'all to know something, okay? Word for word. Ooh, he's got swagger. I get it. I get it. I get it. long his legs are look at the mic i get the david ruffin fan club i get it come on y'all break it down y'all come on y'all that's right i feel like a proud granddaughter the feedback is killing me. Come on, Live Aid. The live arrangement is kicking. It's kicking. It's so vibrant. Oh, it's phenomenal. So in the movie, if you've not seen it, can you tell I've seen it? Uh, David Ruffin was like the sex symbol in the group. He was the heartthrob, if you will. He had all the girls and their panties dropping. If you know, you know. Uh, and I see that here. I see that. The, the swagger. He like switched the microphone. He's leaning into it. Like he's got it. He's got it. Do I think the Diva Neff's like attitude was was warranted? I mean, maybe watching him perform, maybe he deserved to be the Beyonce of the group. Maybe so. Don't shoot the messenger. Ooh. 
What's next? What's next? And my girl. I definitely know my girl. Yep. Okay. I know the temptation. Come on, y'all. I mean, this song is such a classic. My daughter knows it, you know? Like, I know y'all say this all the time. Like, how could you not know this song? Have you been living under a rock? But if you don't know this song, I can reassure you, not only have you been living under a rock, you've been living under a um, noise-canceling rock. Okay? Okay. But I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging Because I, I don't like to be judged. I'm just, just saying. This one is like a classic. A classic. I now want to go down the Temptations rabbit hole, but y'all know how many copyright infringements there are there? <laughs> Whole lot of them. Whole lot. What can make me feel this way? This Ooh, that, the oh, drum. He hit his knee. He grabbed it though after. He's gonna, he's gonna feel that in the morning. Look at that massive crowd. Well, So I think in my mind, I thought that Live Aid was like a country music thing. Because I feel like anything I've watched, it's been like a country genre song. So this is interesting to see like some, some soul, some Motown happening. I love to talk one more time. Cause why? You got what? He's so skinny. He's so cute. I'm so glad he said it. Ooh. I'm sorry, y'all. I am freaking out. Did you hear that ar that arrangement? What can make me feel? Oh, listen, listen. It's good. Even got the month of me with my girl. I'm so happy right now. That was iconic, legendary. Oh my God. And honestly, I don't know what was sexier, like the performance or watching Hall, Daryl Hall, like direct the band behind him, drop out the music, talking about 
my girl. He's like singing, looking forward, but also directing the band. Stuff like that to me. I'm like, sir, you are you are an artist, artist, a singer, singer, a performer's performer. And I just love them even more now for this. Like this is this was so good. And also I feel like necessary. Oh. And the whole time they sat back there and just supported. They never stepped forward. They did all the choreography like they were the background singers. Like, brava. Just when I think I can't love them anymore. Oh. Oh. Whoa, it's me. It's too much. It's too much. That was great. I feel like I'm more fat. I don't know why I lied to y'all. I think I was lying to myself. Like, I don't know that much about the temptations. <laughs> I know more than I thought I did. Anywho. Seeing the real life Eddie and David just made my night. I hope it made yours too. And I hope that you have the day that you deserve. Toodaloo.